Welcome back guys to another episode of analyzing real life attacks caught on tape and see what can we do in our in these scenarios to protect ourselves. We are with us Leo and we have another scenario in an elevator. So as you can see the attacker is threading this woman in the elevator from another angle. There you go with the knife. He's threading her against the wall of the elevator. Doesn't see it. We don't know exactly if he's stabbing her or not, trying to rob her. But absolutely violent situation. Okay, Leo, after we watch the video, okay, what happened in the video? We're gonna imagine this is an elevator and I'm inside. The attacker is getting into the elevator. Suddenly what? Pushing the woman to the wall and his hand is up with the knife. As you guys can see, not an easy situation. There will have two things that we have to take into consideration. One is the knife, the real danger, of course. Two, his hands that is pushing me towards the wall or holding my shirt maybe or whatever he does, okay? So how can I reach the, the knife, control the knife and neutralize the attacker when this hand is bothering me. We said that usually if we see the, oh, oh, we can neutralize. We learned last episodes while just jumping on the knife. But here I'm having a hard time to jump on the knife because, oh, there is this hand that is avoiding me. So first step, lift your hand, pay attention. He's not going to stab you. If he does, oh, you're here, right? You're here with a couple of attacks. Bum, bum, bum. And if needed, then, oh, neutralize. But, let's see what we can do. Whoa, 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 let's, let's see what happened. Now, even though while doing this, the knife can still be kind of far from you. If you're redirecting the, the, this hand and he's attacking you, oh, you're ready with this other hand for the defend. And you want to dive in to neutralize. Because from here, I'm pretty much controlling the knife. Try to pull the knife, Leo. Oh, and I don't care, as we say about those scratches that he can do here, it's not a real stab. As much as it's unnatural, as much as your survival mode will tell you to go back, you're understanding if I'm not doing something now, I'm in serious trouble, I might be in a real life, and real risk of my life. First thing you have to do is to redirect and dive. Okay, if he's gonna attack, that's fine, I have the sand is going to protect. You're in a pretty serious trouble here, but if you do one and you have a risk of your life, there is something you can do to protect yourself. What we said is redirecting the hand. Doesn't matter if he holds it, boom, redirect just so you have the ability to dive in. Now when he, he's attacking me, oh, I'm diving in because I want the control of the nice and I'm going with my own attacks. Boom, 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 boom. So pay attention to this little trick that we got here. If you're just going to do one and try to dive in, possible that he's going to stab you, but there is another possibility. If he sees you trying to jump on the knife, that he's going to move up away and now you're in trouble. So you want to get the, you want to have the ability to dive in before he pulls the knife. For that, what we're doing when we're in front, when we have a wall and this hand is bothering, is going redirect and wall together and a push. Whoa. So even though he sees me and he tries to pull the knife, try to pull the knife, oh, this push from this wall provide me energy and momentum to control the hand with the knife. From here, I'm with a strong grip and I will go to my attacks. Whoa, go on, go on. Head, boom, hammer, right? Knee if needed. All of this till his knife will fall on the ground. Boom, boom, boom. Push, take the knife. And of course, take distance and get out of the situation. Okay? Leo, thank you, thanks for the knife. That's yours. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. You guys can stay tuned and check out our Facebook and YouTube page and learn more Krav Maga tips and lessons. Thank you.